Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. This is my channel, welcome for the first time. If this is not your first time, you're already part of this amazing family. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back from Tyson's video. We are learning new words, learning new words. I don't know what I just did there, but in this video, we're going to be learning a new words. This is honestly my favorite series because I get to learn amazing words and words I didn't even know their meaning, meaning, but I still knew what they meant actually. I will get to know their meaning, meaning according to dictionary. I mean, this is still my wonderful, amazing dictionary. If you're not familiar with what I do in this series, I just come up here and open to random pages in the dictionary and point out words and define whatever word that I point to. Trust me, it's fun and it's very nice. So in this video, I'm going to be doing seven words. And I hope they are really words that stand up. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into that. It's learn. So I have my dictionary here. I've said that before. Please don't talk about how my dictionary looks, okay? Don't judge a book by its cover. It still has amazing words in it that you're going to learn from. Okay? Okay? Let's go. Okay? Retrogressive is an adjective. Returning to an earlier or worse state. Retrogressive. That's the first word. Yeah, returning to an earlier or worse state. Next word. I want to point out two. I honestly can't see this word. What the? <laughs> what the? Okay, I'll start with the second word, which is the one on this side. It is fun. Fun. And we have fajitas. It's spelled F-A-J-I-T-A-S, but the pronunciation here is Fujitas. Fujitas. Anyways, let's start with the second one, which is fun. As a noun, a person who supports or has great enthusiasm for a sport, celebrity, A-T-C, etc. So, a fan. I'm your fan. You're my fan. That's what it means. The third word that I pointed to, which is on this side is like i said it's pronounced f it's spelled actually f-a-j-i-t-e-s but it is pronounced for haters a mexican dish consisting of strips of spiced meat with vegetables and cheese wrapped in soft tortilla if you're mexican and you come across this video could you describe how this tastes or just like describe it because all I really, really understand it, but a Mexican dish consists of strips of spiced meats and vegetables and cheese. Hmm, okay, just have tortilla. Okay, okay. I think I get it now that I read the second time I get it. So if you're Mexican or you've tasted this food before, you've been to Mexico and tasted it before, let me know if it's nice. That's the only thing I can, I can ask. Okay, let's move on to our fourth word. Pawn, pawn, P-A-W-N, actually. The first meaning is a chess piece of the smallest size and value. Second meaning is a person used by other people for their own purposes. I've heard this word a whole lot, like a lot of times. Moving on. Okay, so the fifth word is millstone. It's a noun. The first meaning is each of a pair of circular stones used for grinding grain. Second meaning is a burden of responsibility. Millstone. Millstone. Okay, I learned a new word, honestly. <laughs> Not that I learned a new word. Like I said before, like there's some words that I know, but I didn't know they are meaning, meaning, like a contradiction or you get. But I just knew them and I knew what they were used for, you get. If they're an object, actually. But yeah, 
I knew that it's I the first meaning I'm very familiar with that one, but the second meaning the burden of responsibility I'm not familiar with that. But the first meaning, uh, which is each of a pair of circular stones used for grinding grain, I'm familiar with that. Very familiar with that. But I didn't know it had a second meaning, which is um, burden of responsibility. Well, we learn every day. I learn something new. Let's move to the sixth word. Mm, let me go to the back. Let me point out two words. Or should I not? No, let me put out the word. Let me just stick to this side. What is this? Real ill. Real ill. Okay. It's a noun. It means beer that is fermented in the cask and served without additional gas pressure. I've never heard of this word before in my life. Probably because I'm not familiar with beer. But this is the first time I'm hearing this. It's good to learn something. Okay, that's new. <laughs> Moving on to the seventh word, which is our last word. Like I said, we're doing just seven words in this video. Let's go. Let me look at it. Just like I did before. But not two words, so whichever one like feel like I can pronounce, I'm going to say. You know what? Let me just stick to the left. The left is reject. 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 We are familiar with this word, anyways. It's a noun. Reject. Familiar with this word. It's a noun. One to refuse to accept something faulty, faulty, I mean, or unsatisfactory. Two, refuse to agree to something. Three, fail to show proper affection or care for someone. Four, of the body. React against the transplant transplanted i mean organ as a noun a rejected person or thing i've defined this word in one of my um learning new words episode yeah so that's it that's the end of this video i do hope you learned new words because i did real ill is something i did not know and the second meaning of millstone is also one thing i did not know reject is the word i'm actually familiar with and that um for heaters which is actually spells differently from the pronunciation well that's not something new in english language or whatever language <laughs> but anyways thank you so much for watching this video i do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment for me i will definitely reply you okay let's grow and make this fan bigger to the extent that i can't reply all of the comments can we do that let's do that yeah thank you for watching once again i'll see you in the next video bye love you Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.